Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch Han Solo. That's right, everyone's favorite scruffy looking nerf herder comes to the 6 inch scale line from Hasbro. As you can see, Han Solo comes in that same style Black Series window box packaging that has just kind of that bland black deco scene on the box there. Has the Star Wars Black Series logo at the top, along with a little medallion featuring an image of Han Solo's face. And then the figure and all of his accessories are fully showcased within the window box there. The back of that packaging is pretty much just straight black, kind of has this darkened image of Han Solo sitting in the cantina and gives you a quote of the character from the film. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at Han Solo outside of the packaging. First and foremost, we'll go ahead and talk about the sculpt on this guy. The likeness is a pretty decent likeness to actor Harrison Ford as he appeared in A New Hope. It's not perfect. It's a little soft. It's probably not quite as detailed in the face as it could be. So it's definitely not the best likeness of Harrison Ford, but it's certainly still a pretty good likeness. There's a great paint deco there. You can see all of the paint is very nice on the hair and the eyes and the eyebrows. All of that is painted nicely there, so it really does help overall with that face sculpt. He's wearing his outfit as seen in A New Hope, so he's got the black vest on over kind of the beige shirt, and he's got the black pants with the red deco running up the side there. They're actually more of like a dark bluish pants, I guess, and then the boots he's wearing is more of a deeper black. So all of the paint on this guy is very nicely done, and there's even some really great details, especially seen in the belt that he's wearing there. Uh, it's got a nice shiny silver buckle, and the brown has a very natural leather look to it. There's a good wash on there that really helps to bring out all of the little details on there. Now the articulation on this figure is very nicely done, something that's been done really well on the Black Series so far. The head's on a nice ball joint there so you can rotate it all the way around, roll it around, and there's even a hinge joint at the neck which adds even more articulation in the head. You've got nice ball joints at the shoulders that are those nice ratchet joints, so they're very tight and they click as they move, moving the arm outward, forwards, and backwards, swivels above the elbow, standard elbow bend, swivel at the wrist as well as hinge joints at the wrist. You've got a nice torso rocker there, so you can rotate the chest all the way around, swivel them side to side. Great little ball joints at the thighs there. You've got swivels at the thigh cut. You've got double joints at the knees. You've got great joints at the ankles, which hinge forward and backward, as well as a nice rocker joint at the ankles so you can rock the feet side to side. So, you can get some really great posing out of this particular figure. Another fun thing about the Black Series figures is that they do have removable heads. I'm not sure if this is done with any intention, but it's nice to know that you can easily pop these heads off. It's easy just to pluck his head off and you can see that there's just a ball joint underneath. And it is worth noting that the ball joint on Han Solo here is about the same size as the ball joint seen on figures from Series 1 like Luke Skywalker. So, you can intermatch those heads very easily if it's something that you want to do. Han Solo here stands at exactly the 6 inch mark, which puts him a little bit taller than Luke Skywalker, which is accurate, and about exactly the same height as Boba Fett. As far as accessories go, Han Solo here includes the most out of every figure in this particular wave. He's got a lot of great things going on. First, you may or may not count this as an accessory, but the black vest that he's wearing is removable. It's made of kind of a softer plastic, so it's very easy just to pull off the figure if you want to display him without that vest on, which is a really nice touch. Also, the belt that he's wearing does have his typical blaster holstered right there in the side. It's a nicely detailed blaster, too. It's not just a solid black piece of plastic. It's actually got paintwork in the handle, so it's brown there. It's got some nice little silver highlights. Very nicely detailed. Fits perfectly in his right hand, which has got a good trigger finger, so it holds onto the blaster firmly. Now, you can also remove that brown belt that's got the holster if you want to. It just unsnaps in the back, and you can just kind of slide it off of his right leg there. And in its place, you can attach this Stormtrooper belt that includes a Stormtrooper blaster. That way you can recreate the detention block scene from A New Hope. This belt also snaps on very easily, and like I said, it's got a nice black Stormtrooper blaster right there in the holster that he can also hold very nicely in his hands. 
And lastly, this particular figure also includes interchangeable hands. He includes a pair of hands wearing his gloves for piloting the Millennium Falcon. It's very easy just to pop the hands right out of joint there. They pull out with a nice firm tug, and then you can pop the new ones in very easily, and they lock in place nice and solid, so you don't have to worry about them being loose or falling out or anything like that. The hands seem to be molded pretty much the same way as his non-gloved hand, so you'll have one trigger finger and one open hand, but that way, if you want to display them with the gloves on, you've got the option to do so. So it's a pretty nice touch, and allows you to display different variations of Han Solo with just one action figure, something that I think is very nice touch by Hasbro. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the brand new 6-inch Han Solo from the Star Wars Black series. Overall, this is a very nicely done action figure. The likeness may not be as good as it could be, but everything else about this figure, I really love. It's got a great paint deco, I love all of the accessories that he comes with, and he's got an amazing range of articulation. I'm still pretty smitten by this particular lineup, and Han Solo here is a great way to continue things on with a Series 2. So the 6-inch Black Series Han Solo as well as Series 2 are showing up in online stores right now, such as BigBadToyStore.com. So happy hunting, and until next time.